tomorrow for as beautiful as it will be there is one concern that we do have and that is pollen tree pollen will be very high tomorrow oak birch and maple will be our biggest culprits so if you are sensitive to those allergies just be careful but otherwise we are in for a treat throughout the rest of the night tonight on future tracker we are expecting very clear skies as we drop down into the upper 50s low 60s across the valley waking up throughout the day tomorrow we'll have the winds pick up a little bit more from the southwest but otherwise we are calm we are quiet we have plenty of sunshine and we'll be seeing ourselves back into the 80s for another day, both days this weekend. That definitely was a treat. And then Sunday night into Monday, early morning, clouds will start to thicken up a little bit more as that cold front gets closer and closer to bring that rain that we will be seeing. Here's that cold front further out. Again, tomorrow will be nice, we'll be calm, we'll be quiet. But once Monday ro starts rolling around, that's when we'll start to see it come in, bringing the chance for some showers and thunderstorms throughout the day Monday. Nothing severe that we're looking at the moment, but it will put a damper on things and it'll make things a lot cooler as well. 58 degrees will be our low tonight with mostly clear skies across the entire valley. Plenty of sun throughout the day tomorrow. 84 will be our high. That will be four degrees shy of that record that was set 124 years ago. Let's see how close we can get to it. And then looking at the week ahead, Monday, we already start to see the change in those temperatures as those showers and thunderstorms move in. We should be in the mid-60s this time of year, but throughout next week, we'll be struggling just to get into the 50s. We'll start to see a warm-up by the end of next week, but that comes with more widespread rain that we're watching to move its way into the valley.